Alright, this is a weekly love reading for Gemini. Um, I do have a card that's not part of the reading. So we have uh, number 39 was secrets. So there might be secrets on your part, your partner's part, somebody's part here. Um, so, you know, might need to sort some things out or ask them a couple questions or find out what's going on with them. Uh, so, you know, always fun. Anyway, number one is going to be the love theme. So, love theme that for this week is going to be the emperor. The emperor is tyranny, ruggedy, and coldness. So, somebody here is being cold. It could be you. It could be them. It just could be a situation. Maybe there's a lot of work you know, stuff that needs to be done, or there's not enough time for the relationship, okay? So, number two, we have the love challenge, which is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is new relationships carry new, um, new love, ha mm, happiness, emotions, sensitivity, sociability, and friendship is here. So, this uh, kind of would renew the relationship. That's why it's kind of a challenge. I feel like there's not really anything to look forward to in this relationship. And I'm saying that in the nice possible way. I feel like you kind of shared enough with this person where they kind of know everything about you. So it's not like, you know, there's anything to really discover or to figure out. It's kind of like, it's there, and then it's like, okay, you know. Uh, uh, probably not a, not an in-depth relationship, so it's not a bad thing. Some people don't really want to know too much. They just kind of want somebody to be there for them and stuff. So it depends on your situation. Okay, so number three, we have your lesson in this relationship. We have the High Priestess in reverse. The high priest is in reverse is lack of center, loss, inner voice, um, repressed feelings. So you might have repressed feelings that you haven't really shared with them. Maybe you want to move on. Maybe you want to break up. Maybe you don't want to be in a relationship that's surface level, okay? Um, maybe you're looking for something more. Maybe you're looking for something that would be more of a adventure. And that's fine. But I feel like you're repressing your emotions at the moment, okay? Number four, we have their lesson. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is feeling valued, emotional security, partnerships, being recognized, friendships, and celebration. So what your partner wants is more of like a celebration or appreciation for them doing work. Um, they might be like the breadwinner of the household or something and they kind of want, you know, special, you know, cake, maybe special notifications or special something or other to make them feel valued, okay? Um, especially when they bring home the bacon, you know, they want something fun. But I feel like, you know, your relationship's kind of not based around that. So that, that might be a bit of an issue. So, and they probably have voices a lot of times. Like, when, when I get a particular thing, I kind of want some, you know, speciality, you know. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of recognition. Alright, so, um, we have number five. Number five is growth zone, so we have the five of wands in reverse. The five of wands in reverse is avoiding conflict, respect, differences. So, um, so you might do one thing, they might do a complete other thing. Or they want completely different things that you yourself aren't comfortable doing. Um, <laughs> might have to be more emotion or more of you feel into it or into an idea or something to that effect, okay? So there might be a disconnect here for whatever reason, okay? Um, then we have the last card, which is 
and the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is sex and romance. So, the Four of Swords, uh, there's some rest here. So, enjoying being single, withdraw, healing, taking stock, slowing down, truce, time apart. So, you're probably breaking up to spend time apart to um, actually sort out your feelings or find out where you want to go with this relationship. So it's it's probably going to be like, you know, a month away from each other just to find out what you want out of relationships and where you want to be at with the relationship and how you feel and what you're willing to put into a relationship. So there's a lot there. Anyway, and we have channeled messages, which is a stable new relationship moving in together um spiritual healing you might need to heal some things or some traumas um do some good things for yourself and then we have um let's see rest from a surgery or healing quickly a meditation ritual or meditation so you might need to heal you might need to realign your chakras you might need to find out who you are what you want and where you're going you know and what you inspire to be okay so it's it's a lot of self-discovery for you and a lot of um, self-discovery for your partner I believe so it, it might be just a moment apart that you need okay Anyway, Gemini, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.